What's up, YouTube? This is Galactic God, and I'm coming at you now with another episode of OTKs of the Past. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the CyberSign OTK. Now, even though this is an OCG card, uh, it does exist in the TCG. It's just a little hard to come by, and I don't actually own a TCG version of the card. I don't want to pay the money for it, too, either, because, uh, you know, it's not legal, and it's not exactly a card I'd want to use in a friend game uh, anyway, so... You know, I just uh, never felt the need to pick up an actual TCG version. Anyhow, uh, this combo is pretty unique and cool for a couple of different reasons. Uh, most notably, you know, the way CyberSign got banned and whatnot, and just uh, everything about it. One of the really cool things about this uh, OTK combo is that it can be almost literally done with just those one card, just CyberSign. But realistically, it is a two card combo, and maybe a little bit more depending on what your opponent's field looks like. And I'll kind of go over the different variations of how you could do the CyberSign uh, OTK. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, put it in the time frame of when CyberSign was released here in the TCG and the cards that were available at the time when the OTK was prevalent. And ultimately, the, the <laughs> Uh, what led to the banning of CyberSign himself. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So realistically, all you really need to complete the OTK if your opponent's at full health is just two cards, CyberSign and uh, Limiter Removal, or um, a Megamorph will do just as fine. Uh, but for this uh, example of the OTK, we're just gonna use Limiter Removal just to keep things simpler. But if you had a Megamorph, you could use that instead. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, most ideally, you would summon CyberSign on an open field, meaning your opponent would have no cards whatsoever. You would pay the 5,000 life points to go ahead and bring a fusion monster from your extra deck, uh, thus bringing out Cyber End Dragon. Cyber End Dragon's got 4,000 attack. You could then use limited removal, boost it up to 8,000, and attack for game. Uh, that is the most ideal uh, <laughs> circumstance that you'll ever come by. Typically, though, um, during this time period, you would not have your opponent with an open field to where you could just summon the cyber sign and get through. Although, I guess, you know, that could happen from time to time. It just was not most likely to occur. So, in the instance that your opponent actually did have a field, because you have to do this OTK uh, going second, because you have to be able to attack to accomplish it, uh, this is most likely the kind of setup that you would see. Now, typically, your opponent might have a couple cards set in the back row. Now, of course, the way you would get around this uh, with the OTK would be with a card like Heavy Storm. But not only that, cards like Giant Trinade uh, were available in triples, meaning you could play three of them in the deck. Also, you had cards like Cold Wave that you could play triple in your deck, so your opponent could not activate uh, the back row. And, of course, if your opponent only had one back row set, you had your one MST that could take care of that problem as well. With so much backfield hate disposal available in your deck, destroying your opponent's spell and trap cards was not really as big of an issue. All right, so let's say your opponent had, you know, some back row and maybe like a monster card set. How exactly would you be able to get around this setup and still complete the combo? So of course you would need one of these kind of cards in your hand, either Heavy Storm, a Cold Wave, or a Giant Trinade. Uh, something to prevent your opponent from actually playing their back row or just getting rid of it altogether. Next, you would need the Last Will Exiled Force combo. Uh, so if you have these two cards in your hand, you could then go ahead and get rid of your opponent's monster. And with Last Will's effect, you can go ahead and bring out your Cyber Sign. Since your opponent's uh, back row cards would either be Null and Void because of Cold Wave, or you know Destroyed because of Heavy Storm, or back in their hand because of Giant Trinade, you now have an open field to be able to complete your combo, thus paying your 5,000 life points and activating your limited removal and attacking for game. Now let's say that you didn't actually happen to draw your limiter removal or megamorph in your hand. This combo can still actually be completed. All right, so you would of course start out by null and voiding their back row by playing one of these kind of cards. We'll use Cold Wave uh, for this example, uh, thus making it so they cannot actually activate any card in their back row. The next thing you can do is go ahead and special summon out your Cyber Dragon with no fear of bottomless or anything like that since they can't activate back row. And then go ahead and go for your Exiled Force slash uh, Last Will combo here, destroying their monster. And then getting Last Will's effect to go ahead and bring out your Cyberstein. Once Cyberstein's on the field, since you don't have uh, limited removal or Megamorph, you can go ahead and bring out Cyber Twin Dragon instead of Cyber End Dragon. This will allow you to attack for 2800 twice using Cyber Twin Dragon's effect. Then you can go ahead and attack with Cyber Dragon and uh, Cyber Sign, thus being able to do over 8,000 life points and ending the duel. 
All right, so the cyber sign OTK became so dominant and prevalent in the meta that Konami did something that was a little unheard of for them, something they normally would not do. They emergency banned cyber sign midway through the format, which is uh, kind of crazy considering that normally when a card is so OP uh, that Konami just you know lets it run rampant through the rest of that format so the players kind of get it out of their system and they're ready for it to be gone. But Cyber Sign was so horrible and destroyed uh, the game so much that uh, Konami actually you know got rid of the card midway through and it was something that you know is kind of remarkable and something that normally does not happen and, and it's something that's kind of a little unique about the cyber sign otk and the cyber sign card in general really and it really just kind of lends to the lore of the card now one thing to keep in mind about this otk much like many of the otks that are featured on this series is that there wasn't really a large amount of hand traps that were used so there was no like effect veilers out at the time no maxis no gores no trigodia no swift scarecrows no battle faders nothing that was going to help you know, stop this OTK from occurring. Really, you only had Karibo. And it was kind of being teched in at the time just because people were so afraid of getting OTK'd and the amount of OTKs that were happening with this card. That said, there is a crap ton of hand traps now to help prevent something like this from happening. Plus, cards like Heavy Storm, Giant Trinade, and Cold Wave are now all on the Forbidden list. All we have is the three MSTs. So my question to you guys is, do you think CyberSign could actually ever come off the list? Or do you believe his emergency banning is still justified and he should never be allowed in the TCG again? In the comment section below, let me know your thoughts on this subject. And I guess that's going to do it for this episode. This is Galactic God, out.